So now we've created two separate rooms, room A and B, but what if we wanted to combine these two rooms together? In other words, being AB as one large conference room. So let's take a look at this one. First of all, there's two different ways that you can combine these two rooms together. One is through a GPIO and one is through a serial command. So let's take a look at the uh, GPIO. That's what we'll talk about in this module here. So if you remember, going back to the stack, you have the settings. I have the four pins that are on the back of the uh, mixer. So now I can go to the GPIO and I can change this from being an open collector output to now being a logic input. Being logic input being when the pin's high that the, the uh, partition is open. When the pin is low, the partition is closed. So that way we will know through a contact closure of some type to show what's happening with those two rooms. So first of all, you put that, uh, cha make your changes in the settings section there, but then you will have to put a GPIO in the second room. So if you look at our resources like we had earlier, I go to, and you'll notice there is the logic input there. So I would just add that to room B. Also notice on the dropdown of the GPIO, you want to check off the box here. It says use on divider and also, and it shows open when the GPIO pin is high. So that way we'll know the state of the room depending on how the contact closure of that particular partition is. So now that we've done that, we need to have to see how does these combined room work? Because we know how A and B works, but now we have to see how A and B work together. So let's say in this scenario, we just wanna make this one big conference room for VoIP calls only. So if I go to the, my two VoIP lines, I could use both of them if I wanted to, and I could actually check off the table mics and gated, as we uh, talked about earlier with all the colors. And maybe I wanna use all my wireless mics as well for gated uh, as well. So we'll make all those gold cross points. And maybe we still wanna utilize the beamforming mic, which is down here, okay? So in this case here, we still need to be able to hear the VoIP calls that come in. So I can maybe utilize uh, both of those to both ceiling speakers. So those could be brought in. We'd also have to make the cross point from the room A VoIP line to go to room B VoIP line, as well as the one in room B going to the one in room A. So that way they could hear each other as well. But let's just say we wanted to also utilize the wireless mics as in uh, sound reinforcement. So in this case, I would go to my handhelds and lavaliers. And if you remember, I'm gonna to go to my processing block first because I'll maybe wanna use feedback elimination and use that feature within the feedback eliminator. So now I'd go make these as purple cross points because again, these are pre-AEC. I don't care about echo cancellation in the room. And that would go out of the processing block and then go out of the processing block you would then go to the ceiling speakers themselves. One last thing you have to remember is that because this is a whole new room now, we're now gonna go to the handheld two that we use for the Dialog 20. Notice it is not bound to the Dialog 20 here at the bottom, it's on the P-Link. So I still would have to go make these connections as well because we don't know how you're gonna utilize this room. So that's why we still basically make it blank and let you fill it out how you want it to actually be run. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at the reference matrix. So if we go to the reference matrix tab, notice that your direct output, if you remember the, the rule, what is your direct output? So it's either speaker here, so you're gonna be either one, they don't have to have both. Uh, and also the direct output that has all the audio that you don't wanna to send to the far end and nothing else, well, we do have VoIP calls and we don't want to send that to them that they would get echo. So that would be a standard reference if that's all that was, but we do have something else. We do have the processing block, post-processing the wireless mics that are going through the feedback eliminator. So if we were to get rid of that audio, that would they would not get my audio at the far end because this reference would actually get rid of it. So we don't want to do that. So that would be a custom reference. Since we've already created a custom reference and a standard reference before when we had room A and B separately, it's already here really. So all you would have to do in this case here is just go to your table mics 
and they would just be standard references because they're not being used for sound reinforcement and the beamforming mic as well. But in this case, I still do have the handheld and the lavalier that are being used for sound reinforcement. I would make those a custom reference, but instead of checking the exclusion here, again, this is post-processing, I would go down to the bottom and check this off. So that way, any of this audio that's going through this sample audio here will exclude the handheld and lavalier because we're using those for sound reinforcement and they would be able to hear me at the far end. So this is a good example of how, first of all, to combine both of these rooms together with a GPIO and then also how to make your cross points and how, it, how to make that combined room do something totally different.